The Couch is proudly supported by Palace Cinemas, Elite Audio Visual Productions, Crown and Andrews Board Games, fun for the whole family, and Scoot Airlines. Escape the ordinary, fly Scoot. Hello Australia, this is Abby, our, one of our floor managers. Abby, we've got a new bear to give away this week, thanks to Cooper Bears. We're giving away the other one, so we're going to tell you at home. One lucky person, if you live in the suburb of Jaredale, all of you from Jaredale, listen in if you entered this competition. Also on the show today, we're giving away passes to a brand new movie called Brittany Runs a Marathon. Thanks to NRC, we've got 100 passes to give away. We're talking travel with Steve Collins about South Africa. We're talking music with Demelza Leonard. I hope she's got some ABBA news. Guardians of Innocence have got their yearly ride for the Children's Hospital here in Perth. We're going to talk to them on their Harleys today. And Alexandro Pitorino performance. That's why we've got the piano behind us, the organ. I've got to call it an organ. And uh, Brendan Paletti performs for us as well. And Cade, little Cade DeLuca performs for us very soon as well. Abby, myself, the crew, we're all here, ready to go. Episode 656 starts now. It's showtime on the couch. Hey, it's showtime on the couch. You can see it from your house. You can see it from your house. getting quite comfortable sitting next to this organ. Amazing, $100,000. I've been told not to touch it, not to sit near it, not to sit on top of it. Very nasty they are to me. Cade DeLuke is not nasty. He's an amazing young guy. He's over centre stage in the studio and he's performing a song called Sherry. Here he is to open the show today. Cade. Hey, dear Luca, well done. Thank you very much for being on the show. And sorry we delayed you last week. Someone that's never delayed is a lady who's always here on time, in fact, early today. <laughs> Demelza Lena, talking Hello. music. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. How have you been? I've been well. I've busy been week? Well. Very busy week. What has been the biggest news this week in music that you've sort of gone, oh, really? I think... Well, I'm not going to discuss it today, but the ARIA nominations have come in. Really? So, yes, they've oh. snuck themselves in. Anything 
dangerously different? Uh, Tones and I expect her, she's had a number of nominations this oh, year wow. and expect her to actually do really well. Uh, Hilltop Hood, seven nominations And as I believe well. somebody else is hosting it this year too, the, uh, the, the Logie, uh, not the Logies, the ARIA Awards. Mm -hmm. but I can't remember who it is. So it doesn't no, neither can I. Music, we we'll have got you know lots of time. topics today. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, Rihanna's back in the news. We are, uh, yeah, so she's been doing a lot of uh, entrepreneurial stuff uh, lately. So she's releasing her uh, her visual book documenting her life. So it's actually a, uh, like a photo book and it goes through everything from the fashion that she's created to her story, her life at home, mm -hmm. um, the music that she's created, just basically exclusive imagery. She's very imagery. popular, isn't she? Incredibly so. popular. So it's the... Basically, it's a, it's a photo book that's kind of depicting her life with images that we've never seen before. Oh, wow. So yeah. Well, you know what? It's, her fans will love it. Her exactly. bankers will love it. Exactly. And, and I think she'll probably enjoy doing something like this. Now, that comes out October 24th? It does, October 24th. So all those Rihanna fans for Christmas, it's a great stocking mm. filler. So. And Flume hits the $2 billion mark. Well, not $2 billion, but $1 billion streams. So I'm sure one. he's already hit $2 billion if he's having $1 billion streams. So Flume, so the Australian streams. DJ and producer, has actually clocked a billion streams. So he now good, hits a very... It, that's fantastic. Now, you're, a, you're DL social as well, you know all about it. Yeah. When someone gets a billion streams, what does that actually mean? Well, it just means that they've had a lot of hits for listening to their Financially, songs. Financially, does yeah. it improve their I mean, standing? depending on what the channels are, you actually get royalties that come through that. So Spotify yeah, tends to pay a little bit less than some of the other yep. um, like YouTube. So this is really like good. That. So this is actually really good. It's um, through APRA and AMCOS, mm -hmm. um, their organisation, that's actually said that he's hit the one billion mark, which is Fantastic. a very elite club. Um, for this song, which is Never Like You, which came out a few years ago. Now, interestingly enough as well, there's only one other person that's a part of this club um, and that is a producer called Nat Dunn. Now, he was responsible for the Friends hit, which was Marshmallow, um, the DJ, the mm -hmm. international DJ producer um, who teamed up with Anne-Marie, who's a well-known singer now as well. And that was the first Australian to be a part of this one billion streams. So the song that they had was Friends, not I'll Be There For You oh, by Rembrandt. That wasn't a bad song. <laughs> I did think you might be I'll be there that. for you. No, but you know what? With everything being nostalgic these yep. days and the 25th anniversary of Friends, who knows? So I'll tell you someone what, might remix that. The next that. story, I was really happy to see Cold Chisels back. Yes, and it looks like it'll probably be the last time that you will get a chance to see them live around the country. I did see them on the news last week and I thought they looked pretty good for their age. They're looking very good Especially for their Jimmy age. Especially Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy He's Barnes actually is lost doing weight. really, really well. So Cold Chisel has announced uh, in a press conference mm. earlier this week in Sydney that they are kicking off a national tour starting in Sydney on New Year's Eve. What a way to bring in, mm. bring in the new decade. Um, WA will get two shows, one in Frio and one in Bustleton. So Fantastic. WA fans aren't left out of the um, in the dark. Now the tour is called the Blood Moon Tour and it's expected that there'll be a number of different mm. guests along the way including Paul Kelly, Jebediah, Hootie Guru, Casey Chambers. So depending on wow. what show it is, you will have certain guests and the best thing to do is to check um, the ticket outlets are they all the, for who's the, on. Are they all the original? In Cold yes, Chisel, they from what I understand, yeah, they are. So I don't know a lot about, apart from Jimmy Barnes. Yeah. And one of the guitarists, I think I recognised him the other night on the news. But good news. Very Fantastic good news. And an great for back. Cold Chisel fans. But again, they have actually said this will probably be the last time you'll get to see them. So those tickets are Buy going tickets. to go. Do we know where you said Fremantle in, here in Perth? Fremantle and Bustleton. There you go, and check your guides around Australia. Cold Chisel making a big return around Australia, as are our top three. Our top three. They haven't Shall changed we have for about ten weeks. They really haven't, have they? Number Shawn three. Mendes and Camila Cabello. That tells you how popular. Because the thing about top threes or the top mm. songs is the other one, number two. Post Malone with Circles, and he's just keeping Tones and this I one, is still at number really, one. Really, really well. Australian. Artist has smashed a Kylie Minogue record as well for female at um, to hold the longest number one spot How long ever. Uh, she hit the record weeks? at 13 weeks. Oh, I so, think this is yeah, so this has right. now gone longer. It's still number one. Yep. Uh, she's just been nominated for 
a heap of ARIA awards. Well done. Um, and the song's gone number one. It's number one in the UK as and, well. And you see, the thing I have a problem with the ARIA charts is they're about popularity, not necessarily if the song's great. This, it, it, it's it what is. Sells. It's what sells. Um, and now they've started incorporating digital yep. as well Correct. because it's. It's, it's no longer world. about the physical, yep, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Well, congratulations to those three, especially Tones and, Tones Tones and, and I, I could Dance Monkey Potentially well done. could have the number one song. I think it's going to come down to Old Town Road and Tones and I for who takes out number one for the year. So. Sounds good. Now, we've also got your website as well. I think we've put that up this week, uh, yeah, which is, of course... You? No. no we, don't have, we didn't put <laughs> it up. <laughs> but it is, of course, demelzalena.com. 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 If people want to get in touch with Demelza and talk to her about providing ABBA news every week... <laughs> Yes. We're more than happy. You've so Demel Zelena, pretty yeah. easy. DemelZelena.com and you'll find all the tags to it. Exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful music week. I shall. Now, let me tell you, we have got a winner, folks, for the bear. Now, last week, our first $200 bear that we had, we've had a winner here in Jarrodale and WA. Now, thank you to all those people. We had some from overseas as well. Sally Marshall, there's on screen. There's all your details. Sally Marshall from Jarrodale WA, thank you very much for entering. You're winning last week's bear, which is the bigger bear worth about $200. We'll post that out to you because I've got your address. It's number... No, I won't give it up. <laughs> uh, but this week, we're giving out another bear. Here it is on screen. It's a beautiful little bear. It's worth about $150. If you would like to win this bear, it is very simple. Same rules. All you got to do is put on an SMS the word Cooper, which is, of course, Cooper Bears, uh, 0439 929 929. That's our SMS number. Put your name and address. You must have your name and address. That way I know if you've won other things or if you've entered under one of our cruise names or something like that. So Cooper is the code word, 0439 929 929. That is the SMS number, name and address. Now, can I just tell you as well, um, they wanted me to tell you that you can also buy your own unique bear by going directly to their shop in Kelmscott. It is called Cooper Bears. They've got a website, www.cooperbears.com. But they also have their own workshop where they can fix bears. So if you've got a damaged bear and you love it, you grew up with it and you want it fixed, go down and see them. They do a wonderful job. Cooper Bears. And please enter for this competition because it's going to go off next week. We're going to take a break. Be back after the break with more. We're going to give away some tickets. We've got a piano, organ player, and we've got Steve Collins talking South Africa after this break. Welcome back to The Couch. Later on the show, stay tuned. I've got a couple of Harleys coming in. The Perth uh, Children's Hospital ride is coming up and we're going to talk to them. But everybody says to me, Fred, you know, it's cool to have bikes. I've ridden bikes before. Have a look, Steve. This is Steve yeah. Collins, by the way. Hello. This is me this morning getting to the, the yeah, studio. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> Lovely well, that, set of underwear you've got well, on I was there, say, Fred. I don't know about you, but that sort of cracked me up. <laughs> that reminds me the last like, because I've just come back from South Africa. But the last time I was in South Africa, I was on, on a quad bike and I had this fantastic prang went up this hill and it fell on top of me. And did I just hear worried. that that was recorded in South Africa? That <laughs> <laughs> did you that really? Me. Did you fall? Yeah, yeah. Well, at the end, at the end of this quad bike ride, oh, and uh, they made us go up this rather steep hill. My weight and steep don't go together. Gravity, <laughs> gravity pulls us back to the ground. Yeah. Welcome back, Steve Thank Collins from South Africa. You've just returned. Yeah, just come, come back again, yeah. Now, because, we've got a segment today yeah. pretty much 100% on South Africa. Yeah, well, it is. Because, well, it's only on one part of South Africa because I uh, had the great privilege of going to the Kalahari Desert. So I hear the Trans Frontier, is that Yeah, it's, well, it's called the Kalagadi Trans Frontier Park because okay. Kalagadi is the way the local bushmen... Uh, pronounce it. Okay. Well, we call it the Kalahari, so it's been sort of anglicised, I yes. guess. But, you know, it's really hard to get to. First of all, uh, uh, the, the flight to Johannesburg. And here yep. we are. This is us going into the Kalagadi Frontier Park. This thing is 38,000 square kilometres. Huge. It is huge. This is a way in. Um, it's one and a half hours fr uh, from the front gate and there's a couple of lines just lying by the side of the road. This is a, a, a dry riverbed. The rivers only run about wow. once every century, but there, there is underwater. That's an oryx. And uh, there's the, uh, the, the giraffes. Uh, 
Uh, I love that little photo of the little trees. I Just peeking actually. around the trees. Oh, are you still here? How are you? How far from that? Were you taking the photos well, from the no, inside what, of the vehicle? What, what, it, was a, it was a one and a half hour flight to Uppington and then it was two and a half hours to the gates of the, of the park and then when we got to, uh, we had a one and a half hour drive mm. to this track here and from this track we crossed 91 sand dunes to the Ulf's Lodge which is where we stayed. It was a very remote place. There was no Wi-Fi. There was no phone. So we're here. They probably had satellite phones there. Yep. This is the, the lodge. This is where this you is, stayed. This is where I stayed. This is on a hill above a, 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 a massive salt pan. You can mm -hmm. see the salt pan there. It's a kilogram, a kilometre in length, and it was absolutely brilliant. And you're out there, literally in the middle of what the nowhere. Like? What did it feel like? Like secluded? Fan secluded. The stars in because the Because what happened was there was yeah. only power a couple of times a day. You got it uh, oh. sort of in the morning and at night to allow them to cook and clean and stuff like that. Yep. And once the power went off, I sat out on it. my veranda. Yep. This is at night. Yep. And the skies just opened up. Lit up. There was absolutely no ambient light. Whatsoever, and it was just fantastic to gaze up there. Those and it was silent. There's amazing. no sound. It was Those, that accommodation that you stayed yeah. at is that available for the general public? Oh is yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. No, no it is. There. It is a lodge. There, yep. there were other guests there, um, and it's. Uh, but it, you get all your meals and mm. everything's included, and and your safaris are included. We did different safaris there. Um, because it's so dry, mm -hmm. we did walking safaris. And instead of looking for the big five, because there's no elephants or yep. rhinoceros there, there's just not enough water. Oh. We did the small five, which is the small animals. And we had a, uh, we, we had a, a terrific guide called Castro who took us and he was a tracker and he just looked at little signs on the ground and he could pick things up from those signs. He'd see, uh, he could tell you how long it had been since, uh, uh, if he f saw some tracks, how long it had been since the animal had been there and stuff like this. And so this is us uh, doing our walking tour. That's Castro. He's a bushman. That's your guide, isn't it? That Castro, he's a, he's a bushman. That was an Eland horn. What had happened in two 2012, lions had eaten that thing and the remains are still there. The and you know what? And here we are, there's a Bushman's camp. These mm. are the Kalahari Bushmen. They're of the San clan and they have this traditional compound there. Yep. They showed us how to make fire by rubbing sticks together and they showed us how they, they made their implements. They, they, they make all these little bits of artwork out Did of bone. Did you have to dress like See what that? he's doing there? I didn't get dressed like that. No, if I got dressed, they would have thrown me out. Like, that. but uh, it was just amazing. Do they, are they authentic? They actually they live are like authentic that? Oh, okay. bush people. That's... But what they do is they and these are the implements they make. Their bows and arrows. That's that's, a, that's an emu egg that uh, they, they've decorated, and they the families go there and they stay there for two weeks because they, they actually live. Uh, 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 just outside the gates of, oh, the, wow. of the park and there's a big community there but they still live traditional lives. So if Absolutely I went there for fantastic. a holiday, I could see all that myself. So what you Absolutely. saw, you can experience. What, what I saw is what is, is experience you get there. Which is and amazing. this place is vast. It's, on the, it's, uh, it, it, it's just on the border with Botswana and so I put my foot into Botswana. I could put my, my foot through the mm. fence and I stood yep. in Botswana for a little while. But it's just, it's huge and it's so dry. But the colours are amazing. Yep. The red sand hills. I saw that in not a lot of big, Not a lot of big trees, mainly shrubs and mm. stuff like that. Um, but you think this, this place would be empty, but it's teeming with life. Oh, no. a, lot of the, a lot of the smaller animals, mm. they live underground. I saw the mongoose and the meerkats and stuff. Underground. Absolutely wonderful because it's so hot. Yeah, they have to stay And, cool. and they, they, they tunnel underground. They burrow underground. And the mongoose like uh, lives underground but it darts mm. between bushes very, very quick. You had um, an incredible time by the yeah. sounds of it. What's the driving part? The I, driving part, because this is where we, we drove over the sand dunes. Uh, we were going to go and uh, and go to a point where we could watch the sunset. There we're going past another How hot band. was it on a daily basis? Uh, it was 40, pretty good. It was, only, it was about 30 degrees. And is it know, humid? It was, it was, no, no humidity That's whatsoever. Not so There's bad. no water out there. There's no yep. humidity. And it was just fantastic. Look at these tracks. They are just 
sand tracks and Castro, our driver, mm. was absolutely brilliant. And you just uh, – you, you, we, we went for many, many kilometres mm. and going over those things, we had a full truck, you know, because you sit up in the back in tiered seats. Is it comfortable? Is, yes, very Seriously? comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, except when you, you bounce around yeah. a yeah. bit when you do this. But it's, but it's an adventure and it's fantastic. Fantastic. So out of out of five, what would you give oh, this I'd journey have to, to give South it 4.9 Africa? Four point nine out of five. So and then we got it. to the top of the sand dune. Yep. We had drinks and yeah. we sat there and watched the sunset. <laughs> Look at that. That's me. Oh, you're That's in your me. element. Look at those time. colours. Look at and, those and colours. And then at night you, we travel back and, and the, the the sunset, absolutely beautiful. It was a fantastic adventure and a fantastic experience, but with a lot of comfort because that class. Lodge was X A. You got to get that lodge. You got to get that because they all talk like that. That's how the bush was. Was it comfortable inside the lodge itself? Yes, in, the, in your accommodation, very, nice. very comfortable. What did you have in the room? Well, I, I, I had a, the I had a uh, there was a I had I had, I had a twin room, so I had a yep. twin beds. Um, I had a, a a really good bathroom. Beautiful. Um, I had a balcony to sit out on. So you had everything. You so needed. I had everything that, breakfast that I wanted. And that included. They had a kitchen. Yeah, breakfast, lunch, and dinner is all included, plus snacks uh, during the day, uh, and uh, it was just a great experience. A lot of the time mm. was just spent sitting around because there was a uh, on the uh, there, there was a, a small water hole, hole below, and you'd sit there and you'd watch all these animals, hyenas. And and all sorts it sounds of like you had an amazing in. time. South Brilliant. Africa, if you haven't thought of it before, take his advice. Yeah. If Steve says it's great, he had a good time. And Steve, you got some thank yous for the airline and maybe... Well, like, uh, yeah, flew, yeah. I, I, I went as a guest of South African Tourism. We flew South African Airways and uh, they, they were great. Um, it, look, it was, it was just a, a, terrific, uh, a terrific adventure. It was a went to a part of South Africa that not many people go yeah. to um, because of the fact that it is dry. I guess it's, it's not your glitzy shopping and, and it's, it's not your glitzy, normal and it's, touristy And it's not your normal safari park. Correct. A lot of the safari parks you see, the big five. It looks real, You don't get not. to see them here, but I tell you what, yep. you really got to understand Africa and you got to understand the tremendous silence that is Africa when you're right out there where not many people go. It was absolutely Amazing. brilliant. Do you know where you're going next? Um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to Sydney next. Very that'll soon. be that'll be, it'll be worth far it. less relaxing adventurous. compared to the, all the others. No, that'll be that'll be a lot of socialising, oh, unfortunately. You go. fortunately. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in today. What's your website? Because people want to catch more of what you've Steve been up to. Collins, travel correspondent there dot com. There we go. Well done to Steve Collins and we look forward to his next adventure. And I really, a friend of mine went to South, she's South African, and I said to her, oh, you know, you see a lot of stuff on the news. She said, Fred, don't listen to what you hear on the news. There's a lot of parts that are very safe and oh, no. incredibly beautiful for tourists. I never felt, I, I didn't feel in any danger whatsoever. And I, I've been to quite a few That's cities there. No, no, it's, it's a great, great place to go. So. Well done. Good recommendation by Steve Collins. Uh, Brendan Paletti is a good recommendation too. If you listen to music, he's got a beautiful song called Finding My Way Through His Centre Stage. Here he is, Brendan Paletti. seen your face in a while I could really use some of that smile I don't know if you were but things have been rough I'm blind out the thoughts telling me to give up but I find my way
Don't take much to read between the lines The sun's come and go about a thousand times And don't you remember when you said Let me know if there's anything that I can do It's just a phrase people say when they've got no words to use And I find my way through Ooh, With no help from you With no help from you No Well done, Brendan. Well, Brandon, sorry, I've been told it's not Brendan. Brandon, uh, we're going to be talking to you at the end of the show. Okay, thank you. He will be performing another song, but we'll be having a, a quick chat about himself and his new EP that's out at the moment. Thank you to Steve Collins, as always. Thank a pleasure to have you Fred. here. Lovely. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yes, we'll do. And we'll see you after this break. We're doing a bit of organ playing with Alessandro. Come back after this. Welcome back to The Couch. Hope you're enjoying the program. We have got a special treat for you next. Anisha's got a special guest talking to Alessandro very, very soon. But I was asked in the break how I got my riding skills. Now, as you know, I drive a Hyundai, but normally if the weather's better, have a look at some footage because this was me just, you know, warming the motorbike up this morning in Balga. Beautiful. I mean, obviously I had to stop because the neighbours came out at 8 o'clock in the morning. But not too bad. My riding skills are there. So for those people who questioned my riding ability, you were right. Uh, time now to talk to Nisha. She's got a special guest, Alessandra, with her. Over to you. Thank you, Fred. I've not seen you in that light riding a bike before. You, but... <laughs> thank you very much, Nisha. Um, yes, we do have a very special guest today, Alessandro Pitorino. Welcome to the couch again. Thank you so much. We are very excited because you will be playing us a few pieces shortly. That's right. I've brought a little friend with me. <laughs> Just a little friend. This That's is a right. beautiful, beautiful organ. Tell us a little bit about the organ. Right. So this is a digital instrument. It's a Rogers digital organ, which mm -hmm. is very kindly supplied by Principal Organs Australia over mm -hmm. in Sydney. And uh, so this instrument allows me to play what would be like a pipe organ in a venue that wouldn't have one. So that's the beauty about digital technology. I'm able to travel with an instrument that's not really designed for it. <laughs> yeah, and look, it's such a bespoke creation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and tell us about how it moves from one location to another. I have two very strong guys who come and oh. lift it up and put it in the back of the truck and off we go. Oh, I thought there was some <laughs> special, uh, because of the, the price, there was some special care required. <laughs> no, just a lot of elbow grease. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I can't help you with that. But um, what I can help with is let's talk about some of your events coming up. Yep. You've got a busy schedule. 
Yes, quite a few things on the agenda. United Nations Day, have That's to pop right. that in there. That's very <laughs> exciting. So uh, for the first time ever, I will be, uh, an organist will be featured myself, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> featured at the UN um, Day here in Perth, which is mm -hmm. at the Duxton Hotel. I'll be bringing this instrument actually to the mm -hmm. hotel and performing for this wonderful event, which is a celebration of so mm -hmm. many great things happening mm -hmm. around the world. You know, we, we live in a very troubled world at the minute, so mm -hmm. celebrating the good things of this world mm -hmm. is always a good thing. So I'm very happy to be bringing this organ and some very vari uh, variety of music, including a new piece which I'll compose for oh, the event. Wonderful. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's a very special time, so I'm very much looking forward well, to that. Well, we feel very grateful that you've agreed to come and play at the event. Mm -hmm. um, now, we've got more coming up, though. I understand the next um, the next big um, holiday is Halloween. That's right. Yeah, it's a little bit different. So, obviously, here in Australia, you know, we don't really do Halloween. That's mm -hmm. more of an American thing. But, obviously, I've been living there for the past four years or so. Yes. So, um, I'm kind of bringing an American tradition here. Mm. And what I'll be doing is on Halloween at 8 o'clock in this beautiful church in South Perth, St Mary's Church, I'll be improvising oh. a live score mm -hmm. to the silent film classic Nosferatu, which is okay. the first Dracula film ever made. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. I'll be making up the music as I go along wow. to the film. So, so it's like a lived experience if you go and watch. Yes, this will yeah. be the first and only time you can hear this music. So <gasps> catch it while you can. Beautiful, <laughs> very exciting. And you're also in Mosman Park coming up. Tell us about that That's event. right. So I, again, I'll be travelling, touring with this instrument instrument mm -hmm. and bringing it to Mosman Park at the Camelot Theatre with mm -hmm. Cappuccino Concerts and presenting a beautiful uh, concert I think on the 10th or 11th of yeah, November. Yeah, yep, so you have it on November the 10th That's which right. is a Sunday, <laughs> so what a perfect way to uh, to have your Sunday. Exactly. Now quickly we've got two other events, um, November 15, Organ Symphony at the West Australian Sym Symphony Orchestra, wow. That's right, so <laughs> this year uh, the West Australian Symphony Orchestra is doing the Organ Symphony by Camille mm -hmm. Saint-Saëns mm -hmm. which obviously features the organ quite prominently yes. and I'm very happy to be featured as the organ soloist in that mm. and uh, which is great major WA arts institution yeah. and then that'll be followed by another concert mm. with a different major arts institution the Giovanni Consort. Oh, uh, the Giovanni Consort is WA's only professional choral mm. ensemble and I'll be joining them in concert again in the church in South Perth at St Mary's for Wonderful. a beautiful concert of music inspired by animals and creation. Wow. Very interesting. Great expression in the arts. Exactly. Yeah, wow. There's a lot so happening. For those that uh, maybe didn't pick up on our interview last time, mm -hmm. you went to the Juilliard School in New York. That's um, right. And that, as we all know, is a very well-respected, established institution. Um, just quickly, tell us what that was like for the audience. That was a life-changing experience. Mm. Uh, you, you know, you, you, to be able to get in there, you have to prepare and work very hard but then that feels like nothing in comparison to when you are there. Okay. Um, so it, they take everything who you are, they develop mm -hmm. it, they work mm -hmm. on that, and um, they give you the chance to become the musician or the artist that you really want to become. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you whether you run with that or yeah. not. So it really was a life-changing experience. And oh. I'm still feeling the effects of that today. Brilliant. Um, I'm so sure there's some inspired um, performers out there who only wish to get to the stage of, of getting into, admitted into such a, a great organisation. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, we've got a wrap up, but we will be playing shortly. That's so right. very exciting. But before we do that, um, tell us the website we can go to to find out more. Yep, please go to aussieorganist.com mm -hmm. to find out more information about my upcoming events. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Back to you now, Fred. Thank you very much, Nisha. Thank you very much to Alessandra. Like Nisha said, he'll be performing well two exclusive pieces for us very, very soon. But first, thanks to NRC Entertainment Communications here in Perth, we have got tickets exclusively here to the couch, 100 tickets to see this amazing new movie. It's called Britney Runs a Marathon. Let me tell you a little bit about the movie. Starring Gillian Bell from writer and director Paul Downs Colazio, Britney Folger is 27 years old and a mess. Her boss is disappointed in her, her doctor is worried about her health and friends don't respect her. And worst of all, she doesn't respect herself. In search of a new life, Brittany faces up to uh, changes that she has to make in her life. So she picks up her converses and runs one block. The next day she runs two, pretty soon she runs a mile. She finally has direction but she's on the right path. But is she on the right path? Well, you're going to have to watch the movie because it's called Brittany Runs a Marathon. Check out the trailer, then I'll tell you how you can win some tickets. What brings you in today? Uh, I have a hard time focusing. You get enough sleep every night? Drinks on me for this side of the room. How much is enough? Six to eight hours. Oh, way more than that. <laughs> na, 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 na. 
I had a friend, she was prescribed um, Adderall, and now she's very alert. You know, some people abuse Adderall. What? Let's get you healthy. I want you to try losing 55 pounds. That's the weight of a Siberian Husky. You want me to pull a medium-sized working dog off of my body. I'm starting to feel like everyone's lives are going places, and mine's sort of stuck. Hold it! Hold it, please! Try not to leave all your stuff in the hallway. That'd be the third time this month. Change is possible. If I keep interviewing, no one thinks I'm the right fit. I would love you to walk me through CPR for this doll. Oh, I'm sorry, this child is dead. I need to get a teeny bit healthier. We have rates as low as $129 a month. You do know that people can run outside. That is zero. I'm black. I ran today. How the hell you do that? Somebody chasing you or something? You can do it. Yeah, I know. I'm doing it. Oh, sorry, I'm talking myself. My sister, she owns a company, a house and pet sitting. All right, I'll stay. Bad taste in music. You the new girl? I'm the nighttime guy, Jaren. I'm done with the drinking, I'm done with the smoking. 50,000 people from around the world are racing today. I want to run the New York City Marathon. I think that is such a good idea. Hmm, that's a bad omen. Hold it! Hold it! This? Oh, thank you so much. I'm really good at making profiles. God, woman. It's not that bad. I'm just gonna give you mine, okay? Do you know how to spell herpes? This is my last word. Life, the world told me I was lazy because the way I looked. Oh, I was trying to turn my life around. Everything's gonna be fine. People held doors for me. I'll hold doors for you. This is my last hurrah. You changing your life was never about your weight. Hold it, please! It was about you taking responsibility for yourself. We're going backwards. Uh. There you go. That's uh, Brittany Runs a Marathon. Thanks to, of course, our good friend Natalie Cameron from NRC Communications. We have got an exclusive screening to celebrate the movie coming out. Now, the movie is coming out on November the 15th. You get to see it early. 21st of October is the screening, Monday the 21st at 6.30pm at Event Cinemas in Aloo. Now, all you have to do is send me an SMS, as always, 0439 929 929. That's our SMS number, the normal couch SMS number. Put your name and address on that SMS, but I need the code word, which is RUN, R-U-N. Say it again. Oh, you've changed it to marathon. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Adrian. It's now marathon. Marathon. There you go. We did that because of the secrecy thing here at the couch. They didn't even tell me. That's how secret it was. Marathon. Marathon. But pretty much send your name and address to me and I'll promise you'll get a ticket. A hundred tickets is all we've got. We'd love you to be involved. Now, thank you very much to all our sponsors for that one, Event Cinemas and NRC Communication. We'd love to see you there. All right. Now, as we've uh, plugged, we've got Alessandro Pitorino performing for us exclusively and live. So over to you, Alessandro.
Alessandro, that was amazing. Give him a round of applause in the studio, everybody. Well done. Alessandro, you're going to perform another a very short version. What was that one called that you just did? That's called The Fugue in A Minor by J.S. Bach. Say it again. The Fugue in A Minor by J.S. Bach. I'm glad you pronounced that. And what are you doing for the closing? What's the closing number? This will be the last movement of Tchaikovsky's Fourth Symphony, the final of the final. <laughs> Do it for us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the couch. I need to thank this guy here. His name is Matt. Matt, thank you for being our greeter for the last uh, couple yep. of weeks. Have you enjoyed it? Yes, I am. I like this. Um, I like this uh, frontier uh, job. Yep. That is a uh, serious uh, job, and um, uh, thanks to um, fantastic, a uh, fantastic uh, job, and. Uh, there you go. He wants to run the whole show and, by the um, sounds of it. Yeah, it. We, we, um, re we rehearsed this, but he's taken over the yeah, show. That's right. If you would like to give Matt a job or you want him at your business, valued lives, other people that uh, control your life, unfortunately, like yes. they do mine, they're a wonderful organisation. They give people with uh, fantastic personalities, incredible spirit, the opportunity that's to right. do things like this and other things. So I'm sure you out there can take on Matt. Thank you very much for being in. Uh, again. And we'll have you back next year, OK? Uh, yeah. Well done. I'll let you know. Yeah. My birthday is the next week. Happy oh, birthday. Yay. Well yay. done. Yay. Um, happy birthday. Well done. Uh, happy no. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to Matt. To you. Happy birthday to you. Now it's time. We're running completely out of time. But uh, let's go to Nisha. She's got some guests from the fantastic bike ride that's happening very soon in November. Yeah, Over you. Absolutely. Thank you, Fred. Very excited to have um, two gentlemen from the Guardians of Innocence. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And I have Squid and Wreck It. Yeah. And we'll talk about those names a little bit later on because I think there's a story to that. But let's mm. talk about the event first. It's in its fourth year and it's raising funds for the Perth Children's Hospital Foundation. Correct. When yeah. is it? What does it look like? How do I get involved? Well, you come down to the Children's Hospital, uh, actually the Children's Hospital. We're leaving this year from the front doors of the hospital. They've okay. kindly allowed us to park our bikes at the front entrance there. So we'll be lining up out there with whoever wants to come. Hopefully a lot of people come to that one. Um, we get there at 9.30, we're departing around 10.30. Okay. Um, we charge a small fee of $20 for every bike and or car that comes along. Fantastic. Um, we're looking to hopefully get 100 people if we can. Beautiful. Tell me some of the yeah. highlights from last year. What was it like being a part of it last year? Yeah, last year was pretty awesome. Mm. Um, I think we got about 150 bikes or something. Yeah, or. something like that. And, and we, we were lucky enough to also have one of the children from the hospital mm. who pays a lot of visits, that's going through a lot of surgeries, actually came out on the day. Mm. Yeah, did some raffles for us for the people, and he he spent the whole day with us. It was, so it was quite good for us and for him. Wonderful, and hundred percent of all monies raised yes. goes to the foundation. Is that correct? Every cent. Every yeah. cent. Beautiful. So talk to us quickly about the important work. Um, I guess that is provided by the hospital. So the foundation. Why is it so important? People get involved. Oh well, obviously for funds for the hospital. Mm. They, every every cent that they raise goes to the children. Um, for different programs. They have a lot of different programs for the kids that, mm. that they can do. Last year, the bulk of our money that we raised, which was just over $9,000, wow. that went to a music fund for the kids so that they could learn music and things like that. So they have different areas that you can allocate your money to. So mm. we liaise with the, the hospital themselves and they advise us what's needed or where it can go and then we make a decision as to where we want to put it. Fantastic. So yeah. um, in terms of registering, can you just show up on the day or do people need to go to a website and actually register? Yeah, just show up on the show day. Show up on the day Wonderful. Yeah, so if you want to donate. Once again, 9.30am and where do you meet? Perth Children's Hospital, okay. right from the front entrance so you can't miss us. Brilliant. We'll now, everyone in the audience would be cross with me if I didn't ask about these beautiful machines in front of me. Harley Davidson, did you want to talk us through the bike? Um, well, there's not much to tell really, it's Harley Davidson. Um, this one's a um, soft, uh, soft tail juice. 
Now, this I'm is learning. A, this is a this is a 2002 <laughs> model. So this is like wow, it looks new. 17 years old. I've I've actually just put about. A few dollars into okay. uh, fixing it up, um, <laughs> and I cleaned it for him yeah, he today. Cleaned oh, it, yeah. I got photos. That's um, <laughs> <laughs> very good friendship there. Mine's a, a 2014 uh, Harley Davidson Wide Glide. Yeah. Um, obviously had a few modifications, handlebars, uh, feet and pegs, I can see guardians. Down yes, the side yes, there. I've got guardians, guardians on there. So yeah. just to people know who we are when we're out and about on the road. Wonderful. Hopefully we can converse with people if they ask who we are. We might be able to reach out and help someone. Yeah. Fantastic. So um, I have a call to action for everybody. Um, how exciting will it be to be involved in the day? What do you feel like when you've got the engines oh, revving uh, and you're about to go on the ride? It's best feeling ever. Mm. Yeah. yeah, especially yeah. when you've got over 100 um, mm -hmm. bikes starting up. Not only Harleys, well, but all types of bikes. Yeah. They're all starting up together and you're all riding down the road. It's, um, as anyone who's ever been in a ride... Mm -hmm. um, or as we've ridden a Harley especially, um, it's just a, a, a feeling you can't describe. Wonderful. And yeah. it's Saturday the 2nd of November, is that yes. correct? Yep. Yes, yep. yes. Yep. Beautiful. OK, and where can we find out more? What's the uh, we've got a Facebook page, Guardians of Innocence <laughs> Perth. Uh, we've also got a website, mm -hmm. which is uh, guardiansofinnocence.com, uh, guardiansofinnocenceperth.com.au, Wonderful. and also we've got an Instagram account. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We, we so you're all money. over. <laughs> yes, all over. We raise money on an Everyday Hero <laughs> account. Fred wants to hop on my bike. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, <laughs> you guys do amazing work. We're going to have you back on the couch more often next year. Yeah. Awesome. But what's the new route that's happening? Is it a secret or...? <gasps> no, no, this year we leave from the hospital. We'll be heading down the freeway south, heading off onto the Mandajong Road. We're going to the Mandajong Tavern for a quick drink and meal. Mm -hmm. Then we'll leave from there. And, and we'll what go... about the rest of the people? That's you and me. That's us. We'll have a few <laughs> drinks and uh, <laughs> some food. I should be able to sit on the back here. There should be plenty yes, of room. Yes, there's plenty of room for us two skinny fellas. And it's only 20 bucks a bike, so people, you can't complain. It's cheap. It is very cheap. It's good value. And it's, uh, every cent that we raise goes, goes to the to hospital. The so. You do a wonderful job. Is it OK if I sit on your bike? You may. Thank, Thank you very much. I'll just... Way. here for you. It's a shame when we don't have a lot of room. Not because of me, of course. <laughs> it's a bit of a I'm going to grab it. I hope the bike doesn't fall over. Wow. Look at this, folks. There you wow. go. Nisha, had you finished? Yes, Did we I, have yes, the website? Um, absolutely. Have I... we put up the website for <laughs> the Guardians of Innocence? We have. There you go. Thank you guys for coming in. Thanks Please for support them us. on this fourth annual ride. They do an amazing job. And if they don't, we'll come and scare you to give the money. I'll come <laughs> personally. Imagine me on one of these. I've got to go, folks, because I'm right out of time. But I've got to speak to Brandon Palladi and... Uh, and ask him a couple of questions before we go today. Uh, I think, Brendan, you're over there. Yep, Brendan, tell me a little bit about your EP. Yeah, so I've got a new EP coming out uh, at the end of this year, which is really exciting. Uh, and then we're going to organise some gigs to the south of WA and then we'll get over east next year and hopefully New Zealand as well. Oh, it's been a few years since we've seen you on the couch. What have you been up to? Oh, plenty, yeah, just lots of gigs. Um, one of the songs that uh, is performed on the show, Find My Way Through, has just been nominated for uh, a grand finalist in a songwriting competition for Australia, which is pretty cool. So we've got the final of that in November. And then um, apart from that, just, yeah, got the EP coming out, plenty of gigs. So, yeah, it's exciting. Talking about gigs, tell us where people can catch you performing. Uh, yeah, so uh, quite a few different places. Um, generally, uh, it'll be some of the places down in kind of the Perth CBD, one of the, like the Boston or the Rosemount, somewhere like that. Um, but there's also a few winery gigs coming up as well. So, um, probably the best thing is just to kind of head to the socials on my website to see where we're playing at that current time. Are you planning any tours over east or overseas, Brandon? Uh, eventually, yes. Yeah. So we'll go over, uh, probably early next year. We're just trying to tee up some dates kind of, uh, on the east coast at the moment, Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney. Probably a few regional dates as well. Now, where can we get your EP after today? Uh, all the usual places. So if you jump on Spotify, iTunes, you can stream it all through there. Otherwise, you can download it through SoundCloud. Um, if you go to my website, there's a free download there as well. What's your website? Uh, BrandonPaletti.com. Well done. Well, thank you for being on the show today and we look forward to you doing your amazing song next. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Thank you to all our guests today. We've had a wonderful day. Thank you to the guys from Guardians of uh, Innocence. They've done a great job. Thank you to Alessandro uh, that came in and played the organ for us. Thank you to Matt that's looked after our guests. Thanks to all our crew. <laughs> and he's still there. He probably wants to ride with me on this Harley. But please look <laughs> after. Valued Lives is where he's from and, and you do give them a go. They do an amazing job and they might add some laughter and fun in your organisation. That is it. Thank you to Liam for coming in for the last couple of weeks and directing. Thanks to Adrian. Thanks to Abby. 
thanks to Aerith, thanks to Bridget, thanks to Nisha, thanks to Alec, thank you to Ben in the control room, thanks to Michael, thanks to Matt again, he wants me to say that. Thank you very much to Liam and to Nick, I think I've already said that. We go out today with Brandon Paletti's second song. It's called Sitting By Myself, Just Like Me, and we'll catch you next week. Have a great week. Keep smiling. Bye for now. Going down south Might take that ocean drive Though dad says it's longer There's no hurry to ride I like the views And the stars along the way And where the ocean meets the forest Is the highlight of my day Going down south Where the river meets the sea And that river's mouth so wide It's gonna swallow up me So I'll take it all in And that fresh salty breeze The water's so cold I can barely walk in past my knees And I Oh, I never Go home, but I'd rather stay out here and just explore it all. I've never felt less alone. Though I'm sitting by myself this time, favorite part these town folk are really speaking from the heart so maybe I'll play a few songs on my six string return the favor with some words from within and I oh I never want to go home I'd rather just explore it all I've never felt less alone Though I'm sitting by myself this time Nothing to see but tarmac and a few white lines And I can't help feel bitterness in my soul But I'll be back soon as I hear a call Proudly supported by Palace Cinemas, Elite Audio Visual Productions, Crown and Andrews Board Games, fun for the whole family, and Scoot Airlines. Escape the ordinary, fly Scoot. <laughs>